Today we will talk about LUTs or lookup tables in Photoshop, so let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to today's episode. Today we will have a lot of fun applying LUTs and creating our own custom LUTs in Photoshop. But before we start, let me quickly explain you what the LUTs are. They are lookup tables, they are basically a set of different adjustment layers that you can apply to make color correction on any image in Photoshop. LUTs are basically used in video production. Uh, in software like Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or DaVinci etc etc but you can use LUTs in Photoshop too. So let's jump into Photoshop. Alright guys for this episode we will first use this image and let's first apply the lookup table adjustment layer. It's here where are the all adjustment layers and you can find color lookup. And see, there is 3D LUT files. LUT stands for lookup tables, and it's really easy procedure. Just click here on LUT and choose any of predefined Photoshop lookup tables. Let's just scroll quickly through some of these. As you can see here, every LUT has different impact on image, different color correction, different color color grading for that image and it's really nice because you can find the lot that suits your image for example let me just see this fuji eterna it's not so bad it's a little bit punchy look and a little bit contrastier and you can change opacity of that layer as uh, you can change the blending mode of that layer or as you can see or you can play with the layer mask it's same like any other adjustment layer it's really really easy to use let me just quickly show you all others lookup tables but you can experiment and find your own style all right and when you find something that you want here is you can transform night from a day moonlight uh, etc etc this is something that reminds of of a night scene but you can later tweak it add some hue and saturation desaturate it a little bit and make it even darker etc etc but the point here is that these lookup tables completely change the look of your image all right let's quickly jump to another file for example this one and apply some color lookup just go here and let's see what is interesting for this image maybe i want this crisp winter look you can see it's really different mood that uh, it's an original image before and after before and after of course you can load your own lookup tables go here to load 3d lots and I have my own 3D LUTs here. Uh, there are a lot of free LUTs online that you can download and apply onto your images. It's something similar that uh, presets on, in Adobe uh, Lightroom. All right, let's quickly apply one of one of these LUTs. For example, this is Iris. All right, let me just see how that looks. Just a few seconds to Photoshop to load that. All right, as you can see, it's completely different mood. This is the LUT that I downloaded from internet, some website I cannot remember right now. But you can see it's completely different feel and different look. All right, let's now jump to another image. It's this snowy weather. And let me show you how you can create your own LUTs. All right. As I told you, LUTs are basically the set of adjustment layers. Let's first use my favorite curse adjustment layer and make this scene a little bit darker and then we can use another adjustment layer and play with the color of that scene add a little bit uh, let me see add a little bit magenta and maybe add a little bit in the blue channel yellow and blue in the shadows like so and we can go here for example and play with color balance and in the mid-tones add a little bit of cyan and blue go to the highlights add a little bit of yellow and maybe red just a touch okay and let's add another adjustment layer and let's that be photo filter 
and let's use this warm color just for this example something or no it's winter let's use cold cooling filter like so all right before and with that nice let's group all of these layers into the one group and see before and after before and after but before we group it sorry i need to undo it uh, let me show you how to make the LUTs from this adjustment layers. First, I want to show you uh, if you don't make the background layer from your layer, the Photoshop will uh, pop up the error message. Let me just quickly show you that. Go to the file, export, and you see here color lookup tables. And when you press that, script alert could not export color lookup tables because this document has no background of course that we have background file here it's obvious but what photoshop means is that we not, uh, don't have a locked file that names background i will show you how to make that pretty quickly just go here to the layer new and background from layer and as you can see here the layer layer is named background and it's locked and now we can go here to export file export and color lookup tables and let's first name this like winter mood and use quality it's good to use high or maximum for this example i will use high uh, photoshop use this cube file but you can use others for some other software if you use it you can make your lookup tables in photoshop and use it for other software all right i will use only cube say ok and choose the folder where i want to save this let's say in the video and lots and lots and uh, name it winter mood all right let's wait for a second and now let me show you how you can apply that first let's group all of these adjustment layers Control command g to group it and Let's name it winter mood. All right, and deselect it. Then load the color lookup adjustment layer and go here to load 3D lots. And in my folder, I have winter mood here. Let's load this and wait a second for Photoshop to apply this. Okay, as you can see, now Photoshop is just loaded this lookup table and this is before and after. Let's compare with our winter mood group. This is with color lookup table and this is with our adjustment layers. As you can see, it's completely same. And now what is really fun here, you can apply all of these adjustments layers. You can make as much as you want of the adjustment layer and go to some other image, for example, this one and just apply the same winter mood let's load again winter mood adjustment a winter mood look and now this image has the same adjustment layers as this image had but it's not shown as adjustment layers here it's just as one lookup table as you can see before and after before and after and that's really fun because you can make really quick color correction on your future images if you make your lookup tables uh, preset in the front. You can play with that, experiment and really have nice color graded images. Or you can use already uh, some preset that you can find online or use uh, Photoshop presets. It's really, really nice way to color grade your image. If this is too much for you, you can always decrease the opacity and put some other adjustment layer for example add some more contrast here and make a little bit punchy look and do something like this you can see before and after before and after all right guys today we learned what the lookup tables are how you can apply them as a preset to all your images and how you can create your own lookup tables of course you can find a lot of lots online and download it for your images. It's really nice and quick way to color grade your images. Question of the day. What is your favorite method to color grade your images? Please comment below. I would love to hear that from you. If you have any questions at all, please be free to ask them in a comment below. And I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it. 
See you next week in the next episode. Bye-bye.